Alright, so we have the beta firmware 0170.75 for the GoPro Hero 8. And that's what you need to play around in the GoPro Labs. So that is some website where you can do some kind of programming for your GoPro Hero 8. And I show here how my update runs, how smooth or not it works. Yeah, I do this for the fish. Uh, if you check out in the upper right corner here, I put a link in for his channel. He is doing a lot with the GoPro stuff. And I want to show how my update worked. Okay. So it's updating right now. Turn the camera around, there is the red light blinking. You turn this thing around, then you see here the update, like part one of two parts is in the moment active here. You have to turn the camera around sometimes. So the update takes place on the front display, back display, back and forth. It's like odd how this works, but I'm assuming that the back display is updated when it's off. And they turn it back on when they update the other display or what, who knows? I mean, see, that turns off and then it does start again and it is ready. I'm guessing a check mark means ready. Okay, then it comes back on and then now it's ready to record. Okay, and then I check if the update was successful. We can see this here in the about menu. See, there is no file on there now because we did a format of the card. No, here. Come on. Preferences. Where is it? About. Camera info. And there you have your version number 1.70.75. And uh, let's see what I have here in my videos. put the thing back on here. I don't want to lose the battery when I shake on the camera. That has to be on there and then we can see what we can do. So we uh, make a barcode there on the screen and when the camera sees it, it shows the check mark and then it did what this barcode program told it to. In my case, it was supposed to show the words my gig user on the screen when you turn the camera on. So my email address there it is displaying there. And then, so if you lose the camera, that's the thought behind it, and somebody finds it, they know how to contact you. Okay, that's one of the things. And there's many other things you can do. So in this case, I do try an overlay to the video, so the camera will write this into the video. You can put the size in there and whatnot, certain things. So I do my gig user. And then I take away here the seconds and the AMPM situation. <clears throat> so I just delete those letters in the string of program. And whatever those lines do, they are changing a barcode, like this Q code. And so once you point the camera at the Q code, the camera is executing the stuff. So we don't want to do that. I just saw, and you can do experimental metadata in there so you can show whatever message and where I want my text top left and you see the barcode changes when I change something and there it is now so if I show the camera this barcode it will put in the upper left corner here my text I wanted and then up here it says do you want to make this thing permanent my overlay so if I click on this, it will be always like that. And if I don't click on this, it's probably only doing this to one camera on thing, right? So when you turn the camera off, this programming disappears again. So I think that's what this permanent thing is going to do. So I, I'm pointing my camera at this barcode now here. And then we see when I record a video with it, then we see this video here. Look, so... I'm recording right now in the upper left corner. We see the string what I just programmed in there. And we, I do it a little bit. Well, you see that my gig user 1507. So it would be the time when I did this. And then stopping the recording. So that's how the in theory everything works. There's many other functions you can do.